Yeah, yeah, guys, one, guys, one last, last. Vegas, baby. Guys, the computer doesn't have games, chat. Guys, 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 listen, I won't, I won't, I won't be here for long, okay, you guys? This is a makeshift scuff stream. It is what it is. One more. Entertainers are in the building. In a high-stakes team challenge, the blue team's big gamble. Woo! Come on, just bring it. You can't vote for something you don't take. Sent them to the dreaded pressure test. You are about to face the fire. So you will be cooking steak. In the final hand. Well done. Christopher won big, but <sighs> Elsa's luck finally ran out. Tonight. It's a breakfast. Miss. It, it wouldn't let me. Let's go again. Guys, it, 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 it's season. Pretty good. I enjoy it. I like it. Spoiler guy, man. Battling against 16 of the best home chefs in America, it's humbling. Come on down. I've been in sales for 10 years in San Diego, but my true happiness comes from the kitchen. I've been raising my family for 42 years. It's been my career to give my family the best food they can have. But this is my chance to accomplish my dreams. Welcome back, everybody. Oh, mama. The top 16. Tonight, it's time for another Mystery, Mystery Boss Box. Challenge. Of course it is. On the count of three, lift your boxes. One, two, two and a half, <laughs> three, lift. Woo. I see berries, and I see eggs, and I see bacon. Crepes, crepes, yes. crepes, I pancakes. I know exactly what I'm doing with these ingredients. I'm winning this. There you have sausage, bacon, smoked salmon, eggs, tomato, breakfast, asparagus, banana, fresh berries, and English muffins. It's a breakfast mystery box. We are clearly not looking for breakfast that you'd eat at home. We're looking for a refined, restaurant quality breakfast dish. You will have 30 minutes to make us one incredible breakfast. Your time starts. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, sorry. Not quite yet. Boy, why not? You may have all noticed that there's an extra mystery box station up here. That's because you still have a lot to learn. So right now, all of you are going to get a chance to cook with one of the greatest chefs in America, Graham Elliott. Wait, he's going to have to flex on him. Is a particular hero of mine. Before coming to Master Chef, I would have paid money to cook with Graham Elliott. Now I don't have to. He's cooking right in front of me. Dude, this is like a dream come true. Please, Graham. Thank you, sir. Head to your station. Chat. Graham, are those ingredients hey, it's inspiring the camera work a when he cooks. breakfast dish? They're so inspiring it's funny. that I'm thinking three dishes. Seriously? Maybe one for each of us. Three? Yeah, why not? Whoa. You'll each have 30 minutes to conceive, create, and plate one okay, very dude. refined restaurant quality breakfast dish. The winner gets a huge advantage in the MasterChef pantry. Is no, as a camera ready? worker. Yes, yes, chef. Graham, are you ready? Yes, chef. <laughs> Your 30 minutes starts now. Now. Breakfast. We know it's the best and one of the most sought after meals of the day, the most important yeah. meal of the day. What I love about this challenge is it's something everyone can relate to. Mm -hmm. It's savory, sometimes it's sweet, but the beauty of breakfast is in its simplicity. We're throwing them something that should be very simple, but I want you to find a way to elevate it. Crepes, come on, man. We have Elliot here cooking Yo, you're crazy. He's home cooking. What, what happened, where are you? Him being up here? You know, I'm at the Huntington compound just tonight, because I couldn't swim today. I'm moving right now. You can already see just looking at his station. There's 300 fucking horses. Thanks so much. What's up, Bart? What's up, man? Thanks for time to get yeah, the mic trash because it's it's, it's wrongly tuned. It happens. So, Graham, three Just dishes. Come on, what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna do a English breakfast for you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna do a stuffed French toast with Ooh. banana and uh, hazelnut chocolate spread for oh you. Oh my god! And for me, I'm gonna do something a little healthy and go asparagus, a little soft scramble with some smoked salmon. Show off. <laughs> no, simple, simple, but tasty. Wow. Okay, this is gonna go harder. I'm making a savory French toast. No Gramps cooking in front of us, and I'm really excited about it. If he can get three breakfasts out, I'm thinking I need to learn something from him and like soak up all his knowledge. 
We got Graham in the front. He making three dishes. I'm just trying to focus and get one out, you know? I'm gonna do French toast with a banana foster, bacon hash on top. Back at home in New Orleans, you know, I do this all the time. The men just sniping you. That's what me and my wife, we spend the most of our time in the morning, you know? One of us cook breakfast, and then we go from there. I'm making a banana stuffed French toast. Another it's one sniper. of the things that I make at home for my husband, Roger, in Chicago. And then I'm doing candied pecans Roger. with maple syrup. Very simple. I'm trying to pull back. Ten minutes gone, just over 20 minutes to go. Katrina! Hi! So tell me yeah. what the dish is. I'm making a blood sausage, a mushroom asparagus salad. Oh. Frittata. Fuck and no. then I'm gonna make a making a stuffed tomato with brioche and parsley. I really got excited when I saw the blood sausage. I've cooked with blood sausage before. I'm from Wisconsin. I knew what it was right away. Well keep your game face on. Your dish sounds like it's going to be really unique. Thank you. Yeah, good luck. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Po. Right, Nick. Yes, come on. What's the dish? So I'm doing a clay on a breakfast uh, deviled egg. Has a little maple syrup and bacon inside of it. Great. And then I'm doing a mushroom and asparagus, kind of a hash. Uh huh. And then a sweet French toast. Right. So what is it that you've got that we haven't seen yet? You know what? It's dedication, chef. Yeah. Um, I left everything behind to be here, so I'm tired of being in the middle. Sure. It's time for me to step up. Good Thank luck. you. Dad. Derek. Hi, Christina. What do you got working? I'm gonna kind of do a breakfast trio. So I'm gonna recreate the first meal I cooked for my you girlfriend. Just cut them off. Okay. I made her this beautiful challah French toast. Ooh, okay. And then eggs Benedict is my favorite. <laughs> Boy, that's uh, so good. So I'm gonna use salmon. I fully believe in you. Thank you. But you gotta make sure that each one of them is super tight. If I execute this properly, I have a good chance at winning. So that's my thought process. Good luck. Thanks, Thanks Christina. 20 minutes gone, 10 minutes to go. Wow, some exciting breakfast dishes out there tonight. Amazing. Who do you have your eye on? Olivia's looking good. She's doing this amazing sort of uh, cream cheese uh, tart with asparagus and smoked salmon in there. Very smart. Derek's using all the ingredients in the mystery box. And even though I've said, you sure no. you need all those? Yeah. Uh, Nick sounds amazing. He's doing almost like a sort of modern play on a deviled egg, but with French toast and berries and compote, so a bit of sweet and savory going on at the same time. Chad, these all look good. This scored. Right, all good? Doing great, Chef. How's it going? Going good. You sure? Three yeah. dishes? Good luck. 90 seconds to go. Come on, guys. Speed up. 30 seconds to go. Come on, guys. Finish your touches. Come on. Season everything. 10 seconds to go. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop! Hands in the air! Woo! Good job. Well done. Graham, all good? All good, Chef. Excellent. Wow. Amazing. I am <laughs> dying. No, Charlie Tess. Three. Come on, what a show off. <laughs> Seriously. They look great. Um, thank you. I tried to keep it simple. For myself, I made a soft scramble of uh, smoked salmon with a dill salsa verde, a little bit of grilled asparagus and shaved shallot. Mm. Christina, I did a um, chocolate hazelnut spread and cream cheese stuffed French toast with brulee banana and mint. Thank you. And <laughs> Chef Ramsay, I, I tried Smurfing. to do English breakfast. Uh, it looks so. amazing. Dying to dig in. Um, and how did you know I loved English breakfast? Come on. Uh, I don't know. I figured that with that accent, <laughs> you might, might be a fan. <laughs> oh my god, Graham is like a legend. He did three interpretations of breakfast in 30 minutes. His presentation skills are awesome. He's technically great. Obviously, Graham has the technique and the time management down in a way that none of us can really wrap our heads around. Mine was delicious. Christina. Mine was so delicious. And that brulee banana is just Amazing. the oh. best example of something that really simple, good. really smart technique, really Amazing. beautiful plating. Thank you. Thank you. Um, great job. So really good but now we are looking for three of the best home-cooked breakfasts anywhere in the country. Let's go, please. Throughout the Mystery Box Challenge, the judges taste elements of all the home cooks' dishes as they come together. What's Ooh, on top? Derek kind of went hard. Sauce. They now take one final look to choose the top three yeah, standouts. Yes, a Tommy win. And the winner of this Tommy, challenge please. will receive a major advantage in the next round. Wow. There are three incredible looking dishes that we are dying no, why not? to take a look at. 
The first home cook had multiple facets across their plate. It was done beautifully with a savory and a sweet component. Please step forward. There we go, thank you, there we go. Oh, Nick. What? Dude, come on. There are three incredible looking breakfast dishes that we are dying to take and look at. Please step forward. Nick. Nick, okay. Yeah. Boom. It, it did look good though. Hell yes, dude. It's time that I'm being recognized as a front runner in this competition, and this is where I need to be. Okay, Nick, first off, describe the dish, please. What I made for you is breakfast three ways, French toast with a berry, mint, and lemon combo. And then I call this devil egg the perfect bite. It has maple syrup, bacon, and Wait, that's pretty complex. Egg. And then a uh, breakfast sausage and asparagus and mushroom medley. Right. What did you coat the uh, brioche in? Basic cinnamon, lemon zest, and uh, egg, and whipped cream. And what else is in the sausage? Asparagus? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's asparagus uh, tips, mm -hmm. mushrooms, and breakfast sausage. And then just a simple seasoning. And inside the egg, what have you mixed it with? The deviled egg is a little bit of cream, uh, maple syrup, and some rendered down bacon. Mm -hmm. I've never been a big fan with the sweet items. We grew up in England, and a full English breakfast was a massive treat. So sure. we're not used to eating that uh, level of sweetness with our breakfast. Yeah. However, it works. Deviled eggs, not easy to pull off. Sausage is delicious, but the French toast, yeah, amazing. I'm glad you're not playing safe. Absolutely. This one is definitely a standout. Good job. Thank you. Steven is back into the back line. He's not, he's not in right now. What berries did you use? I just used the blackberries, mm -hmm. and then I also used a full lemon, lemon zest, and mint. That's it, yeah, I really, really love how acidic those berries are. The flavors are there, the technique is there. You know, what's the next step? No I have one goal and one goal only, and that's to open a local mm -hmm. bar with some really good food in San Diego. So that's oh. where I'm on my way to. I fair mean, enough, fair enough. If this is an indication and I had this for breakfast at your restaurant, I'd want to come back and check out lunch and dinner. It's Thank a good, you. good job. I really love the story that you tell with sweet and salty and savory. The only thing is the egg is just a little sweet. Sweetness in savory terms is always nice as like a tease rather than a, a mouthful. Your sort of middle section of pencil asparagus and roasted mushrooms and breakfast sausage is so smart and so classic. Your French toast is delicious. But overall, great job. Great job. Great job. She sounds like a high school the teacher. The next dish that we would like uh, to I'm examine further, they Tommy. pack a lot of flavor into their dish. Very much a, a home-style dish. Please step forward. Not Katrina. From Wisconsin, Katrina. <laughs> ah, <yeah. laughs> I can't believe don't, it. Don't talk it's to me. It's so nice to be recognized as like the top three. I think my hard work and knowledge paid off. All right, what do you have here? I made a blood sausage, mushroom, and asparagus frittata with a stuffed tomato full of uh, That's brioche, the shreer, and parsley. Very well conceived and, and put together. I don't hate all women in, in the show. Who's that about? Frittata's delicious. Thank you. I would love maybe a little more punch as far as like some cracked black pepper, okay. maybe some chopped up sage. The tomato is delicious. I don't know if we need one that If you're big. bitchy and maybe weird, you do just a couple nice slices you're a bitch. instead of like this big And door both jam a girl tomato. and a guy you know can I mean? be a Flavor, bitch. Though, you can keep eating it, it's delicious. I think it's thoughtful, it's very much you. It's giving and it's wholesome and Midwestern and uh, yeah, good job. Thank you. First of all, welcome back to the top three. Thank you. <laughs> uh, we're amazed by one thing in this competition with you so far. You are fearless. Not many of them used blood sausage tonight because, oh, God, I'm not going anywhere near that. I was thinking, let's do it a different way. A frittata, um, a stuffed tomato. Smug. That is delicious. Well done. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Okay. So, only up. The third and final dish that we want to take a closer look at this home cook Tommy. showed a ton of technique. Yeah, I knew it was gonna be Tommy. I this knew it. This home cook's plating was stunning. My man's Please Tommy. Please step forward. 
It's Derek, isn't it? It's tummy time. Derek. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay, we'll take it, Derek, but tell me. I feel like this is, this is well-deserved because I've been listening and I've been learning and it showed in my dish. Woo! I feel like a rock star. So, Derek, what is the dish? It's a breakfast trio. We have a salmon benedict over asparagus with hollandaise, a brioche French toast with a blueberry and raspberry sauce, and then finished with a... The drum guy. I like Derek. ...a bit of mint. Mm, hold up. It's amazing. Yeah. I like that the French toast is not too sweet. The berry sauce is delicious. Yeah. Just really nice balance of flavors. As a kind of code, hold up. You are definitely a leader in this competition at this point. Thank you. Why did you come up with the idea of the smoked salmon? It's smoked salmon and there's smoked paprika in the hollandaise. I thought that paired well together. Uh, listen, three different elements, um, done beautifully. Two of the most technical sources anywhere in the world to nail. It's like you're at home now, but cooking with such confidence. It's a great, great dish. Well Thank done. you. Thanks, Chef. Nick, Katrina and Derek, tonight, those were three incredible breakfast dishes. The person who made the best breakfast I gotta look at Nick's dish, and he's got Sorry. some good components on the plate, but I don't really think of deviled eggs as breakfast. The person who will join us in the pantry. Katrina has really great flavor, but I don't know if she'll ever understand the art of plating. The best breakfast dish tonight. This is the prettiest plate that I've put together. I pushed myself outside of my comfort zone today, so I deserve this win. Congratulations. Derek. Unanimous decision. Definitely Derek. The best breakfast dish tonight. The person who will join us in the pantry. He's being a little weird, but I mean... Well done, Derek. Call, call it Winner easy. Winner of the advantage. Finally, I might be small, but I'm mighty. Let's go. And this is going to be a great way to show everyone how big I really am. Good job. As the winner of the mystery box challenge, Derek is now in control of the elimination test, where at least one home cook will leave the competition. You did so guess, well out there he, he, he with the cook mystery him. box challenge. You get rewarded. Your first advantage is that you do not have to cook in tonight's well, elimination it. challenge. Awesome. For your second advantage, you will now get to choose what everyone else is going to cook. You ready to find out the your theme? options? Yeah. So not every family has the time to prepare three course dinners every night. I don't care who you are or what you do, there are nights that everybody has to dig into the back of the freezer and pull out what I have under here. What? <laughs> A TV dinner. This one specifically huh? is endorsed by a pretty good looking master chef. <laughs> this is one of my personal guilty pleasures. Salisbury steak with broccoli and mac and cheese. This sucker takes me right back to my childhood. Next up, we have a my TV favorite dinner. old school TV dinner. Classic, comforting, and timeless. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Mom's meatloaf. Meatloaf. With mixed veggies and red potatoes. One of my favorites. My mom was a military wife, and my dad was always gone on a ship. This is something that was a staple in our house. This was the very first frozen TV dinner ever produced. Look at this <laughs> beauty. <laughs> what is Turkey that? Turkey with gravy, green beans, and mashed potatoes. That looks pretty good. Look at that that looks pretty Ramsey. good. It took me three months to grow that moustache. <laughs> so, Derek, which one of these three TV dinners are you going to choose for everyone yes, it does. to cook tonight? Salisbury steak. That's good. Meatloaf or my turkey TV dinner. Oh, this is the best. 
I am so glad I'm safe from this one because turning TV dinners into something that you would make on MasterChef, whoo, it's gonna be a tough one. Tonight, I choose. Oh, come on, what is this cut, dude? <sighs> Derek got some huge advantages. You can probably guess the first one. Derek does not have to cook in tonight's elimination challenge. For his second advantage, Derek got to choose what everybody here has to make. We asked Derek to choose between three of the most popular... TV dinners. TV dinners. <laughs> Are you serious? Woohoo! I'm so excited! I've been eating TV dinners for 59 years, so I'm thinking, I've got this. Is everybody ready to find out what frozen TV dinner Derek chose for you all tonight? Yes, yes chef. chef. So I had, I had to do something on, in my mail, so that. Derek chose my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> with a mushroom gravy, broccoli, and mac and cheese. So this is a little embarrassing, but I don't even know what Salisbury steak is. This is not within my wheelhouse. Bottom line, tonight I could be going home. We want to see a refined, MasterChef-worthy version of this TV dinner. Elevate, that's what we're asking to do. So you have 60 minutes to make this dish, but you will have just five minutes in the pantry to get everything that you I need feel like to it. make the dish. The others weren't even an option. Is everyone ready to go into the pantry? Yes. Yes, Chef! Your five because minutes I... in the pantry starts now. <laughs> Does that make sense? Salisbury steak is one of my favorite dishes. I have because this one has more components, it's more elaborate than the other ones. And when she had to work, me and my little brother would just pop one in the microwave and eat away. Oh, there's the broccoli. I'm a vegetarian, so I am completely lost when it comes to Salisbury steak. We have 60 minutes to elevate this plain TV dinner to something that's restaurant quality. And I don't even know what the hell I'm elevating. Did everyone get what they needed? Yes, yes, yes sir. Your 60 minutes starts. Hold on. Oh, again, <laughs> another twist. Guess what? <laughs> oh, always a surprise. Oh. Derek, there is another advantage that we didn't tell you about back in the pantry. This is your chance, Derek, to target one home cook who may be enjoying Finally, a TV Shelley, dinner please. in their own home tomorrow Just, night. Just, dude, Derek, fuck you her over. Somebody who must stand and watch Finally, and dude. For the first 15 minutes of this elimination challenge. It's a no-brainer. Derek, you will choose one of these home cooks to stand and watch for the first 15 minutes of this elimination challenge. Who will have to sit out the first 15 minutes? Chris. Chris. What? What? I can't really believe that Derek would target me. I'm so angry right now. What's been so happening? Is this, so, this is actually lame, though. I don't like the kid no more. Christopher, for the first 15 minutes, you will leave everything in your basket. Christopher is a strong cook, so choosing Christopher is purely strategic. But he's just going to take it They win so the gulag personal, and he puts them back in it? It's going to just brew in his head. He's going home. What a stupid... Your 60 minutes. That was, that was out of left field for no reason. TV dinners, love yeah, it. I was raised on TV dinners. But I think it's a very smart move by Derek tonight because it's not just about that sauce we steak. There's three major components, the sauce we steak and the sauce, but in the big issue tonight is getting that mac and cheese right. right. And then what you're gonna do with the broccoli. How are you gonna elevate it's not, it's not about shooting so a threat then. Here is gonna she's be she's a threat to other contestants through the team games and how she deals with them. It's intense because the dish is so relatable yeah. and our expectation is mm -hmm. so high. 
I am doing my grandma's meatballs. I'm gonna turn them into Italian Salisbury steaks. My grandmother taught me everything I know, so if her meatballs fail, she's gonna be slapping me in the face. <laughs> Wooden spoon at all. I'm making Salisbury meatballs with a mushroom sauce and baked macaroni and cheese with bacon. Salisbury steak is disgusting. I've never made a Salisbury steak before, but I'm really hoping that I can make it look beautiful and that this will just magically work out. Chat. I'm doing chat. a Jamaican... Chat, guys, I want you to say chat, guys. Nobody is a threat. This, this competition is all about who's the worst all the time. No, who's the best. The best is only when it's top Salisbury two. Salisbury steak. Just want to do my mom justice. So what do you care about? Who's, the, who's, the, who's the best? Scallions. That's going to have a little spice to it. So hopefully the judge is like a little heat because that's how I cook All right, Christopher, 60 seconds until you enter the ring. You have a minute. I'm not talking to you, thanks. Appreciate it. Stand by, Christopher. Now, Derek, he's gone for Christopher. Mm -hmm. Tonight, he has to focus. Yeah. 45 minutes, he's got his work cut out. Stand by. Three, two, one. Christopher Cook. Oh, Chris. Go, Christopher. Thank you, everybody. That was a good take-in. Right, Jesse. TV dinner. Big fan of them? No, sir. Not at all. Wow. Tell me about the dish. What are you doing? I'm no, going to do not? venison Salisbury steak with pickled broccoli and a fried macaroni and cheese. And the one thing I've loved in this country is mac and cheese. Um, no, I've this, this is really good so far. I enjoy it. Try it. I've had it before and I've cooked it before, but I'll have to see if I can get that. Good luck. Thank you. Hey, Veronica. Hi. How's it going? I'm so excited. Let's talk through play this. Every time we've had something that's delicious from you, our biggest critique always comes down to presentation, how you've elevated it visually. What do you have planned? Well, the wonderful thing about it is it's already set for me. It's the meth guy a TV is dinner, uh, so it's going to look like a TV dinner. Bag burner. Okay, you you did hear the point yeah. that we said we want something elevated, restaurant right. quality. Wait, did you not? But. Right. Inspired by a Salisbury steak. My grandkids are waiting to hear you guys say awesome. Please keep in mind presentation elevation. I will. Okay. I will. You'll be proud. Right, headful. Yes. Salisbury vegetarian TV dinner. Where are we going? I'm a Hindu vegetarian. I don't even know what the Salisbury steak is supposed to taste like, but I'm making my own twist by adding a bunch of tandoori spices that I know typically go in meat. Oyster mushrooms. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm allergic to mushrooms as well. So this is probably the worst challenge for me. I don't want you to eat meat, OK? But you can ask somebody else to taste it. But you've got the final decision. Good luck. Okay, thank you. But if somebody oh. is a top three contender, you're not going to get them out by shaving Obviously, 50 minutes off. Obviously, everyone has strengths and weaknesses in That's this competition. Stupid. Never cooking with beef and not having the ability to taste it is one. But I'm going to look forward to like the mushroom sauce, the broccoli. She knows how to deal with those yeah. flavors. I'm worried for someone like Jesse. Oh. A venison, when it goes dry, it almost turns against you. Last minute. Has that 50 minute penalty affected Christopher's performance? Hugely. Oh, uh, the fire guy, he's, he's the fire guy. Place. Speed up, come on. Let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, killing four, me. three, go. Go. On, two, guys. one. And stop, hands in the air. Woo! I did it. I'm going home. First up, let's start off with oh, no. Christopher. Let's go, please. Thank you, Chris. I am very nervous to present this because I didn't have time to taste it, make sure it was seasoned well. I also did not have the extra three seconds to pick that ring mold up. If I could have just gotten that off, I would have been safe. Christopher, describe that's, that's not even that a macro. Mold, please. So I have here a beef and lamb Salisbury slider, fusilli, and then a sherry sautéed broccolini. First of all, let's do something that you didn't get a chance to do. Thank you, chef. Take that ring off. Based on that performance, what I want to do now in this competition, and every challenge, and every pressure test, I want to take 15 minutes off your time. Because I, uh, home. I love it. Pate Good delicious, one, broccoli delicious, presentation beautiful. That's it. Good job. Thank you very Good much. Good job Jeff. indeed. Appreciate it. Broccoli, tasty. I think I saw your pan cut on fire. Smell the flambe on the broccoli, but your Mornay sauce, spot on. 
Beautiful, silky, good, solid dish. Damn, you went hard. Show everyone what you can do in 45. Thank you so much, Chef. Guys, that advantage that really, advantage. really got him, boys. Part. There was a moment where I thought Derek had made a very smart choice and that there was no way you were going to get food on a plate tonight. Write Derek a little thank you No, because I do think that this was a great learning experience for you. Good job. Just like Jesus, I've just been chosen to suffer. But yet again, I rise from the dead. Here I am. Okay, dude. I feel bad for everyone else. I pity them because I'm a huge threat. I'm really scary. You know, I'm like Godzilla. Run, Tokyo, run. Next up, Hethel. My dish Hethel. looks like ass. I'm ashamed. I don't want to serve this to anyone. Maybe I'll trip and fall and they won't be able to eat it. Anything, any type of divine intervention would be amazing. Right, now, Hethel, describe your dish. So it's a tandoori spiced Salisbury steak with broccoli oh. and mac and cheese. It's not my best. It's a, the moment I put everything down, I knew I screwed up everything. Don't eat it. It's so bad. I'm going to cut straight to the chase. She said, it's don't depressing. eat it? Mac and cheese tastes watery. Forget the meat. Wait, it's clunky. I expect you to have the perfect mac and cheese tonight, and I expect you to have the most perfect broccoli tonight, and you haven't done that. Yeah. Are, you, are you giving up? Tell me the truth, because I'd rather take your apron off now and you go home if that's what you're going to tell me is your best. I was just trying. He, he should bend it. Are you giving up? Truthfully, I'd respect you more if you tell me the truth, because that is the sign of someone that's given up. Done, done. I want to show you that I can make pretty plates and I can do flavorful dishes and bake gorgeous cakes. I don't want to leave, but I was so oh, freaked damn. out about doing the beef that I just completely lost sight on the mac that and daughter. cheese and the broccoli. We've had vegetarians in this competition gone on to the top 10, top 5 and done bloody well. So I watched you tonight yes. and I was just, you know, I'm looking at a different heaven. You're going to have to get used to overcoming those hurdles. But quite frankly, I think that's your worst performance. And quite honestly, maybe your last. Let's be honest, probably not. I like her, I think she's pretty good. I knew this was going to be hard, but I really wanted to showcase the ability to cook meat as a vegetarian, and I completely failed. Next up, Olivia. OK, it's going to be thank you. Music guy. So it's mini Salisbury steak meatballs with sage and mushroom gravy, bacon and herb macaroni and cheese, and a lemon, chili, and garlic roasted broccoli. Listen, I really like it. It's just like a punch of flavor with every element. They're going to have to bring some really great plates up here to top this one. Yay, Congratulations. thank you. Next up, Shelly. <sighs> All right, Shelly, tell me what you've made. I did a Jamaican touched Salisbury steak with a chili oil. Uh, it's a little burnt, and isn't it? I did a creamy, crunchy three cheese mac. Gosh. Three cheese mac, yeah. So the seasoning in that Salisbury steak is Jamaican me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Really, really chef. good. Next up, Veronica, please, let's go. Describe your dish. I made Salisbury steak with a delicious wine and mushroom sauce, 10 cheese Jesus, macaroni Jesus, for a whole family. Yummy broccoli. It's a hungry man dinner. <sighs> right. First of all, you completely missed the objective. I asked you to cook one portion of a TV dinner. This is the third time she does that. Elegant, by the way. upscale. And this thing looks like it's fit for King Kong's kitchen. <laughs> How many times Jeez. over the last three or four weeks have I asked you to refine things down to a plate? I think it's a refined dish. It's awesome. What's this in here? What's the water in there? What is that? The water nah. has wilted out of the broccoli. I'm done. Um, it's a mess. I'm done, dude. It's doused in water. I'm concerned that you're not getting the point. You're still cooking like we're at a Vegas buffet. Yeah, I like Mama. I want somebody else to go home. Of it has been filled up with puke. After 
what Gordon said. I am completely devastated. I just have to hope that someone else does much worse. Next up, Nick. Nope. Nathan's pretty good. Nick, what do we have? Italian-style soft bread meatballs what? with a white wine mushroom sauce, roasted broccolini with pancetta, and baked ziti macaroni cheese. All right, let's take a look at those meatballs. Wait, OK, that, that looks actually toss radical. What the ground beef and pork with? Uh, oregano, basil. Um, my grandma's tricks is going to kill sure. me saying this, but uh, a little bit of Parmesan cheese inside as well. I got to say, I think the meatballs are really delicious. I love the mac and cheese. I like the texture of it. I like that you baked it, so you get the sort of creamy notes and the crunchy notes. It's clear that you know what you're doing. Those are like rigatoni, yeah, are they not? Last up, Jesse, let's go. I'm feeling fine, feeling confident. I could play it a little better, but I think it's, you know, all the flavors are there. I showed a lot of techniques, and you know, hopefully I get in the top three. Jesse. Yes, sir. I have to say, it's one of the most bizarre-looking dishes of the night. Describe the dish, please. Venison Salisbury steak with mushrooms cooked in bacon and duck fat with pickled broccoli wrapped in prosciutto. It looks like a string cheese, cheese sculpture, dude. Love what you've done with the mushrooms. However, what the how fuck? Dry is that? Yeah, it's venison. Jesse, it's like swallowing a mouthful of sand. It is seriously dry. It's not that dry. Mm -hmm. It's not that dry. It's dry, but it's not that dry. I mean, how do you um, like venison? I, I know what venison is. It doesn't work. I've cooked it a thousand times. And when venison turns from red to bright white, it's dry. Yes, sir. Yeah, that was a disaster. I you guys, I still, I still think that the, the As you guys know, this is an elimination the girl challenge. Goes At least one of Veronica. you will be going home tonight. But first, Christina, Graham, and I believe that there were two standout dishes tonight that really elevated that TV dinner and took it to a completely new level. Nick. Congrats, Nick, Nick. and Olivia. You guys are both safe from elimination. You will be team captains in the next challenge. Easy. All right, guys. Unfortunately, it's time to face the bad news. At least one of these three home cooks will be making their next meal at home. The first home cook really disappointed us, and the Salisbury steak challenge proved a little too much for you, Hethel. Hethel, yeah. We knew that. The next home cook, once again, didn't really listen to our advice. You know, it's just not working as far as absorbing what we're trying to give. Veronica. And Jesse. I'm not even gonna ask the next person to step down because he knows exactly who he is. Okay, run down, run down, come on now. Don't wait. Nice. I haven't they wait. Like, oh, maybe it's not me. Jesse. Get your ass down here. What is he do- What is he doing? Step forward, Veronica. He went back, this motherfucker. Veronica, time and time again, you are consistently falling into the bottom of the pack. Sorry. Your time is now up. Please. Take off your apron. Just like that. And go ahead and leave it on your bench. No, mama. I'm very proud of the fact that I'm the oldest person to ever compete in the Master Chef competition. My family. Yeah, she was stubborn and dog shit. For me to cook for them, and they're gonna love me cooking for them even more now. My little grandkids wrote me letters, and they wrote, "No matter what the judges say, guys, come you on, are our Master Chef." I'll never forget that as long as I live. Aw. The good news is that we are now down to the top 15 talented home cooks. Give yourselves a round of applause. Come on. <laughs> OK, well, well done. Great job.
Well done. Guys, she saved it, guys. She saved everybody. Is we're about to go down to 14. Huh? One more of you will be leaving this competition shortly. Hettle, tonight's performance showed that you have hit a huge what? stumbling block of all that we thought you could go over. It's my last day in this kitchen. It's got to be. Jesse, at times looking at you, you look like a petulant teenager. Wait a minute. I don't want to lose this competition. I left my job oh, to come do this. It's a new cliffhanger bait. Like winning this competition. The person leaving. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. Is Jesse. Jesse. Yep. Damn. Chew. Jesse, when we put that level of disappointment into food, it just tastes awful. Please take off your apron. Guys, guys, on your bench. the good news is the next episode is Team Challenge. I'm leaving, but I've made really close friends. I've gotten to know how to cook a lot of things. I got to cook in front of three wonderful chefs. I'll just keep working, you know, keep working on becoming a better chef, and hopefully I'll open up a restaurant and fulfill my dreams, and I hope I made my family proud. Most of all, I just want to wish everybody that's still cooking, like, good luck. Guys. Yeah, yeah, chat, Don't yeah. ever cook your venison. No, 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 don't spoil.